Have you ever had the brilliant idea to make a music video with some friends, kind of like this? And it turns out more like this? Come on! If you also want to throw your sticks in frustration after recording something over and over, don't worry. We've got four tips to help you make music with friends no matter where they are. I'm Staff Sergeant Mitch Grobrook, and welcome to the Virtual Music Classroom presented by the United States Army Field Band. We connect and inspire people across the country and around the world, and we're here to give you the tools you need to play your best, share your passion, and change lives. Today, we're gonna make a music video. There's nothing more frustrating than finding out you don't have what you need after you've already filmed a project, or having to ask your friends to re-record themselves. To avoid that, make sure to start off by giving everyone very clear instructions. Step one is to gather all the gear you'll need before you start recording. For today, all that's gonna be is a metronome, a set of earbuds, a smartphone, and a quiet room. There's so much great music out there, it's hard to choose which piece to record. If you've tried to put together a multi-person video with lots of tempo changes, you know how hard it is to sometimes play or sing along accurately. That's why it's so important to choose your music carefully. Though it's certainly possible to play pieces that have varying tempos throughout, usually those require that a click track be created using some sort of musical notation software. If this is your first time making one of these videos, we recommend that you pick a piece that has one consistent tempo throughout the whole thing. And it looks like that's our step number two, tempo. Step three is one that happens to be very dear to my heart, and that's video orientation. Have you ever seen a video online that looks maybe like this? To avoid that chaos, make sure that everyone agrees up front which video orientation they're going to use, portrait or landscape. Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, that's going to be landscape or holding your phone horizontal like this. Now, when I record myself, I always keep my phone at the highest possible quality settings. But keep in mind, this is gonna be a lot more taxing for your computer when you edit it together. You can always record yourself in lower quality settings to practice your editing skills. Now on to step four, syncing. What is syncing, you might ask? Well, you've probably seen one of these before in movies, but do you know what this thing is actually used for? The clap makes it easier to line up or sync audio and video tracks later on when editing. Now, assuming that you probably don't have a Hollywood clapper board handy, we're just gonna use our hands. Everyone in the project needs to be told to clap on beat one exactly two measures before the start of the piece. If the piece is a little bit faster, it's okay to make this four measures instead of two measures before the top of the piece. Just make sure that everyone in the group knows to do the exact same thing. We recommend using earbuds with your metronome so the click sound isn't accidentally picked up by your recording device. As soon as you have clapped, get set behind your instrument and be nice and still waiting for the start of the piece. The hardest part is remembering to also stay still for five seconds after you're done playing. It'll make things a lot easier for the editing, I promise. Now remember, you might not get it right on your very first try. In fact, you probably won't. The good and sometimes bad thing about making these recording projects is that you basically have unlimited tries to get it right. Now, I wouldn't know myself, but I've heard that other people can sometimes get frustrated with this. Come on! That was eight bars, my buddy. I'm recording! Once everyone has filmed their part and sent it over to their favorite file sharing service, you're ready to put it all together. Choose your layout, sync audio and video, adjust the levels, and you're off to a great start. There are lots of video editing programs ranging from free to a bit more expensive. We won't go into specific software here, but you can find lots of tutorials for any program online. Would you like to improve your video and audio quality? Click here to check out the rest of our series and we'll see you again soon. Five, counted to five, got it.